Even look at reality TV. Manufactured drama. People will go as far as tearing down people's legitimate relationships just for the sake of a storyline. Hello, everyone. How is everybody doing? Yes, it is absolutely this cold outside in New York City. Okay, because I had to put on my little... My little... Oh, God. As you guys could see from today's topic, we're going to be doing a little rover rant about why celebrities should never be in your couple's goals, as well as even influencers. Now, there is definitely, this isn't brand new, there has definitely been a, I don't even want to call it a trend, but just like, I guess for lack of a better term, an unhealthy trend of idolizing celebrities and influencers as relationship goals or your relationship models. And I understand being on a platform of any sort, you are going to look up to people and you're going to want to mimic the things that they say, do, wear. Like, I completely understand all of those things. However, they are people just like us just like you and I, and they are only just like us presenting their best moments. In fact, probably even more manufactured from a celebrity standpoint than you might have, you might actually think. And ultimately what that does is it creates an unrealistic image. And the reason that I think this is so important to talk about is because too often I have seen this happen where people are idolizing and putting these celebrities on a pedestal. And then you, you like, I guess some people have parasocial relationships with these types of people. And then they feel so like let down by what the reality actually is. And we're going to get a little bit into what exactly I mean by that. So for instance, we've all seen what went kind of viral, I guess, with Jada Pinkett, August Alcina Smith. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you guys see what went viral where it was like, uh, I think Justin Layboy posted that he was so sick of, <laughs> of Jada Pinkett, August, Alcina, Tupac, Shakur Smith, something like that. I'm probably butchering it, but we all saw that. And for many, many years, Will and Jada have been kind of everyone's couple goals, right? They were like a strong family. And now it has just come out that allegedly Jada and Smith have been living a separate life, according to her, for about seven years now. Huh? What? Say that again. This just emphasizes that there is such a discrepancy between their public persona and what has actually gone on between, you know, uh, behind closed doors. Listen, I'm just going to throw this out there. I have seen back in the day, like a couple years ago, when Jaden Smith was, I guess, first like doing music and everything. And he literally said, like, I remember reading this in an article where he was literally saying that he wanted to cut off his because he doesn't really want to conform to like gender norms and things like that. He said he's going to do it. He's going to finally pull the trigger when he turned 18. So you bet your bottom dollar. I waited till this boy turned turn 18. And I think he still has his. That's what I think. Because I didn't hear it make news that he cut it off. Okay. That's not what I heard. So I'm just like, huh. Okay. So. It just goes to show there's a lot of chaos and things like that that go on in these celebrities' lives, okay? Like, we all know that Jada was in a relationship with August Alsina, who I think now has come out as gay. I think he's now um, identifying himself. I don't know the correct terminology, whatever, but he is now, he has now come out as being gay since being with Jada and I have heard many rumors for many years about Will and Jada they were never my couple's goals I don't really have any couple's goals but they that they've always had sort of an open type of relationship and they definitely have the type of dynamic where I guess you could say like no matter what Jada does Will Smith is not going anywhere he is not going anywhere and I want you guys to also keep this in mind maintain 
maintaining a very pristine image is very much relevant to being a celebrity. They are not supposed to show all of the time their real and rawness. And even when they are showing their real and raw side of themselves, it is solely usually because that's a part of a, a marketing campaign within itself. You picking up what I'm laying down? And let's even talk on the influencer side. Guys, now, okay, I guess you can argue and say that I am an influencer, or what have you. I don't consider myself to be an influencer. Do I know that I am influential? I am sure. But I do not identify as an influencer myself. I just you know, it's just not a term I would, I really welcome for myself. Not that I think it's negative. I just don't think it represents me. And a lot of influencers, the girls that have like the super aesthetic, like Instagram feeds and stuff like that, that it's like super cool and super nice. Like I don't have that type of thing. Like I'm just like, this is me. <laughs> it is what it is. They, those types of people, they are they have an image and you're going to their page because it's inspiring you to make everything look beautiful, like in that type of way. But it's not necessarily reality. And that's not to say that's a bad thing, but like the sky isn't even necessarily the color that it actually is in that person's Instagram photo because it is filtered and it's edited and things like that to make it look good. So on a more extreme scale, you have celebrities, they manufacture a lot of things to look good. You could have never have predicted Will and Jada's circumstance that they are actually, in fact, not really together. You would have never probably even guessed that. And that's what's really crazy because here people have been idolizing all these people. Do you have any people have gotten divorced in this like past year alone? Do you have any people? It is astonishing. The, you know, when you turn around and you realize, wow, I was really thinking that this person's relationship was like this, 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 and this, and it's nothing of the sort. You also know people in real life that have facades for their relationship. And it is in fact, what? Nothing of the sort. So I want to, I want to emphasize this to you guys. Celebrities and even influencers have different values, priorities, and goals than you guys do. And when I say you guys, I mean the general public. They have different goals, different things that they are doing. And this is why I thank God that I switched my mindset of wanting to enter into Hollywood and things like that because it is absolutely no longer in any capacity a desire of mine because I don't wanna have to do what it takes to maintain that type of image. I don't want to do what it what it takes to manufacture drama about myself and 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 hope that you know I'm going to be the hottest thing ever because I'm dating this person for this type of relationship and I'm truly miserable like it's one thing to be dating them and you're having a good time but it's like I'm not really happy and I'm having to just make a whole bunch of inauthentic connections or even look at reality TV manufactured drama that they that they put on there where people will go as far as tearing down people's legitimate relationships just for the sake of a storyline people will pretend to do anything for a storyline if you are in fact in and of that world there has been a time where you've had to manufacture something to make it look a certain way i'm talking about celebrities especially because from an influencer perspective it's about making i guess things of your actual actual reality it's not as dramatic but again it depends on what niche you're in it depends on what your actual brand is that you would be manufacturing something in that extreme way you have to understand this what works for one couple may not work for another couple you know how many couples channels okay have started out so strong let's not forget let's throw this out there there was a youtube channel called chris and queen a long time ago and i i started watching them because that's not normally the content that I watch. But I started watching them like when they were already like pretty much getting broken up. And it just goes to show you whatever is public, be prepared for public scrutiny. That's how it goes. That's the name of the game. Okay. Whatever is public is going to be subject to public scrutiny. It is what it is. However, what I want you guys to know is if you are the type of person where you're going to be idolizing these people you're trying to keep up with these people especially some of you that are in the in in the phase of trying to keep up with the i'm just throwing this out there do not shoot the messenger okay the jada waiters the what is that other girl's name ari's sup kyle's sister ariana things like that 
their life is very much their life. And these types of people influence our younger generation not maybe Jada, but like Ari, like influences our younger generation to where you think it's normal if you're 22 years old and your boyfriend can't buy you a Chanel bag because uh, her boyfriend just bought her seven Chanel bags under the tree, uh, two Hermes Birkins of the rarest form at that and put cash in the bags on top of that and then also bought her land for real estate because hashtag couples goals and hashtag generational wealth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, like I said, what works for one couple may not work for another, okay? And let's even get into another example. This was just trending. Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. They split bills 50-50, I heard. Don't quote me, but I do remember hearing about this, um, that they do, in fact, split their bills. I'm not really heavily invested in um, Gabrielle Union or Dwayne Wade's union at all. However, it's interesting because looking at my notes, it's interesting. They are trending in the media right now where allegedly Gabrielle Union has caught Dwayne Wade cheating. Now, mind you, from the history that I know, the very little that I know about Gabrielle Union, and please, if you're watching this, correct me in the comment section down below. Not only do they split bills 50-50, okay, and she hasn't, I don't know what Gabrielle does, how she's actually earning a steady income. I'm not saying that she's not. I'm just saying I actually don't know. Dwayne Wade allegedly has been cheating on her and she has come forth saying that he's been cheating on her. I guess now again, after she fought tooth and nail to be with this man and he's been doing all sorts of, she's like airing out all his dirty laundry about all of the like gross certain like nasty things that he's been doing. And some of those things are with in fact, allegedly other men as well. And she has come forward with this. Let me know if you have more of a scoop on what this story actually is. I actually saw it on like, I don't even know, like YouTube or something like that, like last night. So it's interesting. Now, you look at someone like that and you're going to think, oh, wow, like Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade, like, wow, they're both they're both celebrities. Like what could go wrong with them? And you would never know that they're sitting here doing going Dutch on things. These are two arguably successful people, especially Dwayne Wade. He is not that there's an argument there. He is extremely successful and he's sitting here allowing Gabrielle Union to pay bills. This is why you never know what's going on with people. Gabrielle Union, okay, I personally theorize that she actually was a very mean girl. I mean, she doesn't really seem like the kindest person. Maybe she's changed, but in the past, definitely, I think she admitted this as well, that she's not the, she was not the kindest person. She absolutely was a mean girl at one point in her life. And look at how, look at how this, the, the cookie crumbles. Huh. The mean girl is sitting here chasing after the basketball player after he has, he's still treating her like, mm, maybe she's really not the one on, you know, she, that's how he's kind of, that's what it's giving. Because how is it that you are a multi, multi millionaire, super successful, and you're going to have your wife who is arguably struggling to find acting gigs. You're going to have your wife pay 50, 50 on the bills when you're the one that can definitely afford it. That's very interesting. Then you also have business marriages out there. Believe it or not, guys, there definitely are branded marriages. There are definitely marriages and situations that have been set up to look like more than what it actually is. And for celebrities and in that world, branding and ma and having that type of manufactured connection and relationship, even as far as going to marriage, can overshadow their genuine feelings and their connection because that's just what it is in that celebrity world. For example, right? You know, because there are also times where people assume that some people have branded marriages. Like, I think that people assume that Jay-Z and Beyonce have had like a business contract type of marriage. And there have been a lot of speculation about their relationship over the years. Like, for instance, like Jay-Z's infidelity was placed into Beyonce's art, all right, in her Lemonade album where she was exposing him for what he, cause let me tell you something, this is what's crazy. Beyonce's team is so tight lipped mm, because I mean, they, no one knows what went down in that elevator. <laughs> Nobody knows what went down in that elevator. And it just astonishes me. Jay-Z then proceeded to confirm the cheating rumors to be true in his album that came out 
after Lemonade. That's an example of utilizing their scandal and, and making it a part of their brand because that's what celebrities do. So then you can perceive that, especially if you're young, you can perceive that as, oh yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go write a, a, a subliminal poem on my Facebook account because so-and-so went and cheated on me and I'm gonna do that. This stuff is like inspiring the wrong type of actions. It is their job to take whatever's actually going on with them and create drama around it. Taylor Swift does it all the time. She has built a, a successful brand talking about all of her relationships, how she doesn't trust anyone and no one trusts her and and how she, you know, is crazy. He also is someone that very much includes whatever she's going on in her life into her content and they're making money off of it, okay? They're making money off of it. Don't believe every single thing that you guys are seeing on the internet. Do not believe it. All right. I, for one, know the nicest people, the people that you think are so nice and sweet on the Internet are nothing of the what? The sorts. Then you have people like myself who people think, oh, I don't like her. She's mean. Da, 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 da. Whatever. The little chirpy, chirpy, chirpies all the way in the boondocks back there in the nosebleed section. And they think I am. Oh, I don't really like her because she she could have said this differently. No, I will not ever say it differently. No, I'm not going to say it differently. Because you don't change by being coddled to death. That's not my method. And that's also not how I like to receive it either. So I'm going to deliver it how I'm going to deliver it. If you don't like it, you can leave. There's a door. Don't let it hit you on the way out, baby. How about that? Anyways, none of us have any true context as to what's going on in these celebrities' actual lives, okay? You can easily misinterpret these celebrities' Outward affection. Look at Cardi B and Offset. <laughs> the bigger the gesture, the more the BS. Remember me saying that. The bigger the gesture, the more the BS. Because why do we have to publicize things that should argumentatively should be private? I just want to know. Inquire my advice now. I want to know why Offset, who knows that he's a liar, a cheater, and an absolute ridiculous person why he found it fit to show Cardi B how much he loves her by essentially giving her what? How many dozens of like uh, Venus at Fleur flowers or maybe Forever Roses or whatever. You're picking up what I'm laying down and it like spells her name. You know what I mean? And it's like, wow, is this how many times you've cheated on her? That's how many roses you got her? Is that how many chances she's giving you? That's how many roses you got her? Okay. The bigger the gesture, the bigger the BS. Remember me saying that. This public display of affection can come across like, see, he is sorry because look at what he did for her. That doesn't change anything. A liar's a liar's a liar's a liar. A cheat is cheat is cheater. End of story. There is a lack of context whenever you are looking at someone's highlight reel and their social media profile. Everyone's gonna seem happy and perfect. Who posts their worst moments? I mean, now I know it's a thing where people are posting themselves crying and things like that. Like, I get that. And those are all their authentic moments. But for the most part, that's not what Instagram and social media was built off of. It was built off of showing, wow, look at this cool thing I'm doing. Look at this cool place that I'm going. Look at my relationship, how great he is. Okay, we all know. Ciao. Valentine's Day comes around and it's like, how did he do? How did he do? Let me know. You know, we all know Christmas time. It's like, will he get you? You know, Thanksgiving, whose house are we going to go over? You know, oh, come on. And this public type of image is very misleading. It can mislead the followers about the real dynamics of what's actually going on because they're not going to tell you because not only is it none of your business, but they're just simply not going to tell you. Then you have, look, let's bring another example. Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. Girl. Were we not speculating or were we not speculating? I mean, like, everybody was, like, trash-talking Jeannie Mai. Like, I'm just saying, please let me know. If you're still watching this, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember with the Jeannie Mai and Jeezy situation, everyone was, like, totally getting on Jeannie Mai because everybody was like, oh, my gosh, we all knew it. When she made that comment about the light meat and the dark meat, like, the dark meat on the side and the light meat keeps her lean and mean and all this stuff like that. Come to find out, allegedly, 
Jeezy, from my understanding, Jeezy was the one that filed for divorce because he was having like a mental health crisis. And he's turns out he's been depressed for like seven or eight years. And so he's just not like happy. And like, apparently Jeannie Mai refuses to speak to him. And yeah, girl. So all the people were speculating about this. Okay, let's bring it even closer. Let we all know. I was just talking to Hale about this the other day. People all were, were like glorifying. This is what the public image does. They glorify, they lift you up and then they'll tear you down the next second. They were glorifying what's her face, Lori Harvey. Everyone's like, oh my God, Lori Harvey this, Lori Harvey that. Like she pretty much put Pilates on the map for people, I guess. Like not for me, but for people. And she's a gorgeous girl. But ma her fame mainly came from, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but it, ca it came from her different relationships. She was like the go-to girl, right? Everybody was like, oh yeah, she's so fire because she's dating this person and this person. Now she just broke up with her, her last boyfriend. And now, oh, the narrative has changed in the public where now everyone's saying, oh, she can't keep a man. And also now, mind you, all the other time before, all the people were saying about her was, oh, I want what Lori Harvey has. She's going through all these men. She's getting all this special treatment from all the men. And now look, you never know what's going on in her relationship. I'm sure everybody looked at her relationship, this past relationship that she had and thought, oh, this has been the longest relationship that I think that she's had besides the Michael B. Jordan one. Okay. So everyone probably assumed, oh, she's probably really settled down in her life. And lo and behold, the reality is, who even knows what's, what's going on in their relationship? But it's done. And but it's over. And what I really want to say about Jeannie Mai is I really respect her for not even commenting on this situation and not even saying anything at all. Because this takes me back to what one of my recent videos I was talking, I think it was a podcast episode that's coming out with you guys, for you guys, where I was talking about why it's harmful to share your trauma as you are actually going through it on social media. And it's way better to just sit back, have some reflection and heal in silence, okay? It is so important to heal in silence whenever you're going through something because whatever you make public, people are gonna be looking for that confirmation. This is why, and you're gonna hear it straight out of my mouth, I will never never, ever, ever, ever bring my relationship to the internet. I'm a very private person in that regard. I am able to share enough with you guys without exploiting my life on the internet. That's just not my brand. My brand is the things, the the knowledge, the educational tips and the entertainment stuff that I say, how I bring my uh, message across, but it is not built on who I'm, you know, seeing specifically details about that person and things like that because hey life you know it ends it begins and I just would never feel comfortable doing something like that like it's just not going to be a thing because then what happens right then you got people asking you about certain situations I want to know why you don't post so and so anymore oh because I've seen I've seen I've seen people do it even with my friendships oh you don't post so and so anymore what's going on with that and I've had enough like enough of the ridiculous and baseless speculation that has gone on throughout my YouTube career um yeah so there will never ever be a time where I will ever be posting who I'm with. It's just never going to happen. And I probably am not even going to do it when I get married either, just because I, it, I just don't want to. I just don't, I never, I never, I don't see the point because things happen in life. And once you put, uh, you know, you know, a magnifying glass on it, which is what you do when you make it public, especially if you're in the, in the influencer world, people want to demand answers out of you for that. People feel like they can speak for you. People feel like they can speculate on behalf of what's going on in your situation. And when you're a celebrity, it's a part of the job of people to speculate. That's what also makes it hot. You know what I mean? But always remember to heal in silence. Jeannie Mai took a break off of social media to just reflect and I just want to give her props for that because a lot of people were talking a lot of smack about her talking about like I said I like to my, my light meat to give me lean and mean and I like my dark meat on the side okay we all remember everybody was coming for her when she made that comment yeah so I want to encourage you guys to think about your own 
personal values and standards. Think deeply before you go and make that couple's channel, before you go and think that you're gonna you and oh my gosh, I have to bring this other thing up. There was a YouTuber that I, that she doesn't have a channel anymore, but she created a channel with this guy intending on just creating funny content together. And whatever reason, they ended up breaking up. And when they broke up, Come to find out, he was extremely abusive to her and no one would have ever known. Everybody loved them together. And I don't want to say their names, but literally like it was insane. And they're, they're not even American either, but they were like, uh, they were like such like a, a, you know, an entertaining couple on the internet and everybody loved seeing them together. I was tuned in. I was watching it. I loved seeing them together too. And he was literally like super abusive to her and they created that relationship. It so happened they formed feelings for each other, but that was like something that was put together because they decided to do a video together for like entertainment purposes. And then it ended up turning into them being in a relationship and everybody has those demands. There was also another YouTuber that I know, not personally, but she shared her story like Miriam Musa. She was sharing her story about how she was on Love Island. She was dating the guy she was dating and we're all over it now. Like it's all water under the bridge, but she changed her channel name to them making it a couple's channel. They had their own, you know, hiccups, things like that, that they've gone through. And then boom, people were expecting to like, we want answers. We want to know what happened. And she kind of had to give that. And she was gracious enough to provide true answers and true context. And she absolutely did not have to, but like, it just goes to show like it's tricky territory. I want you guys to really think deeply about your personal values and your own standards if you are looking for a relationship and you're looking for a a life partner I don't really care for that term but like to me life partner is like a legit husband like but whatever do not compare your relationships to anybody's especially these celebrities and these influencers okay think about how you can create your own hashtag relationship goals based on what is actually more important to you. And also lastly, I want you guys to just let me know what topics you guys would like to see. I know it is super dark. Um, The lighting is probably super harsh. I have like three lights on me right now, which is how it's even able to be so light (laughs) when it's like so dim. I want you guys to know it is pitch black right now in New York City and it is only 516. Yeah, I'm not even going to go into another rant of why I have to, I had to film this so late, but uh, yeah. (laughs) With that being said, angels, do not forget that I love you and God loves you. And I'll speak to you, beautiful angels, in the next episode. Mwah.